Over the course of decades, each era of computer chips became faster and more power efficient as the size of its most fundamental building pieces, called transistors, became smaller and smaller. The expansion of technology has resulted in a large number of commercial service providers who are putting in their time and money, as well as their unwavering efforts, to supply us with alarming technical advancement. IBM is one of those corporations. In more than 175 countries, IBM is a leading provider of hybrid cloud and artificial intelligence solutions, as well as business services, assisting clients in capitalizing on insights from their data, streamlining business processes, cutting costs, and gaining a competitive advantage in their industries. For more than a decade, IBM's hybrid cloud platform and Red Hat OpenShift have been trusted by nearly 3,000 government and corporate organizations in vital infrastructure areas such as telecommunications, financial services, and healthcare to accelerate their digital transformations in a cost-effective, time-efficient, and secure manner. Our clients benefit from IBM's breakthrough advancements in artificial intelligence, quantum computing, industry-specific cloud solutions, and business services, which provide open and flexible options. The renowned dedication to trust, openness, responsibility, diversity, and service that IBM has demonstrated provides the foundation for all of this. The computer chip industry used to evaluate the physical size of transistors in nanometers, which is one billionth of a meter. Today, a lower NM number is often regarded as a marketing word to promote future generations of technology that offer improved performance while also consuming less energy. IBM unveiled a significant advancement in semiconductor design and manufacturing with the announcement of the fabrication of the world's first chip to use 2 nanometers nanosheet technology. IBM stated that the test chip for its 2 nanometer technology was constructed at its Albany Research Lab in the United States of America. The announcement comes amid a global scarcity of computer chips, as well as a push to mix up chip manufacturing in order to rely less on big foundries in countries such as China and Taiwan. Whether it's in computing, appliances, transportation systems, communication devices, or in central infrastructure, semiconductors play a critical part in everything. When it comes to improving the performance of a chip, increasing the number of transistors, the primary operating units that process information without increasing the overall size of the device is the most efficient method of doing so. Around the size of a fingernail, the new 2 nanometer chips have 50 billion transistors, each of which is approximately the size of two DNA strands, according to Mukesh Kati, Vice President, Hybrid Cloud Research at IBM. The new chip will be made accessible in the second quarter of this year, according to the company. The demand for higher chip performance and energy optimization continues to climb, particularly in the age of hybrid cloud, artificial intelligence, and the Internet of Things. With the help of its research facility in Albany, New York, the technology company IBM revealed that it has succeeded in creating a microchip with a size of only 2 nanometers. This is a significant step forward in the processor business because it is the tiniest chip to date and it is likely to have widespread implications for the technology sector. With the introduction of IBM's new 2 nanometer chip technology, the semiconductor industry will be able to keep up with the rapidly expanding demand for chips. It is expected to produce 45% higher performance and 75% lower energy consumption than today's most sophisticated 7 nanometer node processors, according to researchers. And just before we move any further, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In addition to the following features, these advanced 2 nanometer chips may also have the following advantages. The battery life of mobile phones has been quadrupled, resulting in consumers only needing a refresh of their devices every four days. The lowering of the carbon footprint of data centers, which account for 1% of total world energy use, is of particular importance. Upgrading all of their servers to CPUs manufactured using the 2 nanometer fabrication process has a potential to significantly reduce that figure. You can considerably boost the speed of a laptop's functions, which can range from faster program processing to more easily participating in language translation to faster internet access, among other things. Helping to accelerate object detection and reaction time in autonomous vehicles, such as self-driving automobiles, by utilizing machine learning techniques. According to Darrow Hill, Senior Vice President and Director of IBM Research, 
The IBM innovation exhibited in this new 2 nanometer device is crucial to the whole semiconductor and IT sector. It is the consequences of IBM's approach to taking on difficult technological challenges, and it serves as a showcase of how breakthroughs can be achieved through ongoing investments and a collaborative R&D ecosystem approach, according to the company. IBM is a leader in the field of semiconductor innovation. This recent discovery builds on IBM's decades-long position as a leader in semiconductor research and development in order to push the boundaries of semiconductor capabilities and logic scaling. IBM scientists work in close partnership with public and private sector partners at its research lab located at the Albany Nanotech Complex in Albany, New York, where they perform research and development. This collaborative approach to innovation has helped establish IBM Research Albany as a world-class ecosystem for semiconductor research and development. It has also helped to build a strong innovation pipeline which has assisted in meeting manufacturing demands and accelerating the growth of the global chip manufacturing industry. In addition to the first implementation of 7 nanometer and 5 nanometer process technologies, IBM's semiconductor breakthroughs include silicon on insulator technology, single cell DRAM, degenerate scaling laws, chemically amplified photoresists, multi core microprocessors, copper interconnect wiring, high K gate dielectrics embedded DRAM, and three-dimensional chip stacking. It is expected that IBM Power 10-based IBM Power Systems would appear later this year as the company's first commercialized solution to incorporate IBM Research 7 nanometer improvements. On a chip the size of a fingernail, IBM claims that its new CPU has a capacity to store 50 billion transistors. By contrast, its 5 nanometer chip, which has revealed in 2017, may have just 30 billion transistors, according to the company. In his statement, Rudin argues that IBM's breakthrough might be used for artificial intelligence programs, which now require a powerful graphics card in order to perform specific functions. For a few months, there has been an international scarcity of microchips, which has impacted a number of industries. Because of a scarcity of processors, for example, automakers have been forced to halt manufacturing. Large smartphone manufacturers have expressed concern that this shortfall will have an impact on smartphone production. In addition, some high-end computing components, such as graphic cards, are becoming increasingly difficult to come by due to the increase in their price. Transistors per chip can be reduced in size and speed while also becoming more dependable and efficient as the number of transistors increases. The 2 nanometer design highlights how IBM's nanosheet technology can be used to scale semiconductors to extremely small sizes. Its architecture is the first in the industry. This current achievement, which was made less than four years after IBM announced their groundbreaking 5 nanometer design, will allow the 2 nanometer chip to pack up to 50 billion transistors on a chip the size of a fingernail, a significant step forward. As a result of the increased number of transistors on a chip, Processors designers have more options for incorporating core-level innovations to improve functionality for cutting-edge workloads such as artificial intelligence and cloud computing, as well as new paths for hardware and for security and encryption. The latest versions of IBM hardware, such as the IBM Power 10 and IBM Z15, are already equipped with various cutting-edge core-level upgrades developed by IBM. Let us know what your thoughts are down in the comments section below. If you want to see more interesting videos like this one, do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get VIP access to our videos. Thanks for watching guys and with that said, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!